Welcome back to Let's Go Design. Now, last time you guys got to see a little bit of 2D sketching and importing that into SolidWorks. You also had a chance to vote on the extra components that we would include in the design. By a landslide, the extra work table was the winner. So in this episode, we'll incorporate that feature along with some other great features you guys have mentioned to me on the website. We'll take a look at prototyping right here in the studio. And of course, we'll do some detailed CAD work inside SolidWorks. But first, let's go take a look at some components. All right, we're tasked with building the ultimate CAD chair. Obviously, we need to start with a chair. One of the suggestions came in online from uh, Alan. He wants to see a 3D connection controller built into the handrest. Also heard from Warren, he wants a sound system. He's going to get sound. We're obviously going to have to address how many displays we have in the system. But when it comes to the keyboard, we want that to float over us. We'll have a modular wall system to build around the chair. And that should be pretty simple to do in SolidWorks. Enough with the components, let's get back inside the studio and start mocking up this design. All right, let's talk prototypes. Now, this is a model that came out of a rapid prototyping machine. The model was done in SolidWorks, and then that file was sent over to the machine to print it out. But the dome structure's got me concerned. It's going to be expensive. I can just tell looking at it. But this guy is a foam core model. It was done by hand and uh, obviously is a radical shape. Another foam core model that we've done here is a kind of a, just a cube shape. Now, it took 30 minutes just to make this one model. If I have any sort of changes, I would have to make this model all over again. All right, so here we are back in SolidWorks, and I can spend a lot more time in the design than I have to just building one concept. So I have an idea that might actually work to everyone's benefit here. Completely different tree system to hold uh, the chair off to the side, hold the monitors off to the side, hold the keyboard and have all these uh, really neat features that the people have been mentioning that they want. Look how cool that is. It's already found the center point. I could never try to attempt that in 2D. I wouldn't even know where to begin. One of the really cool things inside SolidWorks is something called collision detection or interference detection. It'll communicate back to me whether my parts are already interfering. As I move parts, it'll tell me if we have a collision. That's awesome. All right, here we are inside SolidWorks PhotoView 360. It's a tool for making photorealistic renderings. This tool is really, really powerful. I mean, it renders in real time. It takes advantage of all my processors. There was a comment made by Matthias that he said he wanted this whole design to be stealthy. One of the great benefits of having these types of softwares is I don't have to make any decisions right now, but we can get a lot closer to a finished product without spending a lot of money building prototypes. All right, I'm really happy with the progress we've made so far. The next step of monitors. Do you guys want one large monitor or do you want three small monitors? It's up to you guys to decide. Time to vote. The next time around, we're going to talk about analysis. We're going to use SolidWorks simulation. We're also going to jump out into the fabrication shop and start building this project for real. In the meantime, please continue to vote and keep your comments coming.